For school bus drivers, it is a constant battle. Drivers like Cheryl Chuli using everything in their arsenal to try and stop this. My route in particular this year is running them practically once a day, one car a day. This car just comes right through. Car drivers ignoring stop signs and lights on school buses at bus stops. Uh, stop signs out. Barberton Transportation Director Rick Fillmore has seen it plenty in his 47 years on the job. That's how kids get injured or killed. Is, um, uh, people that aren't paying attention, they're, they're texting, they're on their phone. Barberton is among the growing number of school districts that has cameras on their school buses, which Fillmore says helps. A lot of what happens, the drivers don't get a good license number or description because they're trying to uh, drive the bus and make sure the kids are getting off the bus safely. But State Senator Teresa Gavarone has introduced legislation that would put cameras on every school bus across Ohio. They could generate information and if legislation is in place, could issue a civil fine to people who are driving by those school buses where there's not enough information to do a, a criminal prosecution. Gavron proposing civil penalties, $300, for the owner of a car if the driver cannot be criminally prosecuted. In the states that have done this, they've seen a dramatic, initially there were a whole lot of tickets being issued, but as time goes on, you could see it really going down. What route are we running? In Medina, Fox 8 was there as police rode school buses in October to drive home the message. But police say the goal is to write zero citations. It wasn't about going out and writing tickets. It was about um, bringing the awareness to it to be a deterrent um, to it. And if additional penalties help drivers to be more aware, Gavarone and others believe they are worth enforcing. It's, it's safety. It's all about safety. They need to stop for the school buses and they need to stop back behind us, not right beside us. Dave Nethers, Fox 8 News.